Hi, I'm Danny North and I'm an enemy photographer. I'm here to give you my top photographic tips and hopefully um, help you on your way to doing what I do. Just don't take my job. <laughs> when shooting live, anticipation. Don't wait for the action to come to you. Think about what's going on stage. So if the lighting engineer or the band are reacting to a particular verse or a chorus, you can almost guarantee that it's going to happen again because songs have a repetitive structure. You're Ricky from the Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, I knew when he would do a particular jump and I think it was just that the build up and the music, it was just a really natural thing for him to do. So uh, I anticipated that, I was in the right spot and I got the shot. And that's, that's something that comes with practice but um, it's a real fundamental in a pub, in a club, it's all the same, you know, look for the action and be prepared for it. The best thing in the world is just get involved with a local band and if you can, spend time with them. Not just one gig, get to know them, go, on, go get in the van and actually create a story, Give you know, build a reportage type portfolio. You get an opportunity to do portraits, you get an opportunity to do live stuff and um, and create a story and you'll never ever get that by applying to shoot Mr. Big at you know Mr. Big's arena three songs one contract the photographs are not yours they belong to them like what are you going to learn doing that nothing get involved with your local scene I mean I love festivals um, I can't I can't get enough of them don't matter if it's raining or sunny I just love being there love being with the people and the atmosphere. Um, you don't need a, a far pass to do that kind of photography. Uh, take a, if you if you're going to a festival with friends, take a camera with you and be a part of that atmosphere. You've got as much access to create those beautiful people photographs and the details of the festivals just by being there. You've got the same access I have. The building rapport with a band. It's the probably more important than the camera you have more important than the lens you have. I mean, it's like, like seriously, if you've got rapport with a band, you could use like a nice little Nikon compact and, and still get the shots that really matter. On one particular shoot with the enemy at a festival, uh, Leeds Festival, I was scheduled to shoot Metallica. Um, I, I was in there for 40 seconds. I had like two, three minutes to talk, real small talk with uh, a couple of members of the band. And um, me and Lars, you know, we talked about Billy Bremner because he's a football fan and we were in Leeds. Um, and Robert, you know, I was a real fan of his old band, Suicide Tennises and Infectious Grooves. And just having a bit of background and a genuine love for your subjects can really, like, they, they kind of appreciate that. And that rapport, like I say, is so important. So a minute later, I'm in the dressing room. I have 40 seconds to shoot Metallica. This band know that I know where they're coming from. We've had that little bit of chat and bang, they're happy to smile and pose. And you know, I mean, they're, pro they're pros, they know how to turn it on. It just made it that little bit easier. This is the ultimate tip. <clears throat> like I, this, this is a famous phrase, right? It's easier to ask for, permi uh, for forgiveness than it is permission. Like, I don't think I invented that tip, but somewhere along the lines, in my own mind, I invented that technique just for myself. I fell into it, I wasn't advised that way. But one thing that I learned is, it truly is easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. And I'm talking about, if you've got a little bit of access, try and make that a lot of access. Act like you're supposed to be there. If you've got confidence, people rarely question you. Just get the shot and enjoy it. Number one, respect the people that are working. If they say no, you know, you've, you've been caught out, don't push. But if nobody's asking and you see an opportunity, grab the opportunity. I, I, I have to do that, even now I have to do that. At a festival, there are 100 people between me and the band. And if I can avoid that 100 people just by being a little bit cheeky, but not disrespectful, then I will. Remember, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is permission.